Improvement Bill here. Today I want to give you a NoFap tip that I haven't really seen elsewhere, but it's something that I've been experimenting with myself. I'll also be giving you an additional tip at the end of this video, so make sure you watch till the very end. Now for the first tip, let me explain to you how it works. Basically, instead of focusing on maintaining a streak, what if you try to focus on the percentage of time that you've succeeded? Instead of aiming for 100% perfection, what if you simply aimed for 95% plus? The reason why I think this might be better is because we humans are simply not perfect. Unexpected things come up, life likes to throw curveballs, shit happens. We mess up from time to time. But if you messed up for just one day, honestly, how much progress have you really lost? If you've been working out for three months and you miss one day, does that mean that you've lost all the gains that you've made? No, it really doesn't. You lost a bit of progress, sure. But in the big scheme of things, nothing much has changed. You've still been hitting the gym for three months, which is great. The same sort of thinking can be applied to NoFap. Let's say you're someone who used to jerk off every day and you decide to embark on the NoFap journey. You haven't fapped for weeks, but then one day something happens and you slip up just once. How much progress have you really lost? I would say not much, and that in the big scheme of things, you've actually managed to reduce the amount of times you fap significantly. You should be feeling happy and proud, not guilty and sad. One of the biggest problems that I've noticed when people focus on streaks is the especially harsh downward spiral that it often leads people down if they do slip up. You feel as if you've lost all the progress you've made so far and that you might as well keep doing it, because why not? There's nothing else to lose. There's no 10-day, 30-day, 60-day streak that you have to defend. But the truth of the matter is, oftentimes, that's where the most damage is done. Slipping up once might not make much of a difference, but going on a FAP marathon and doing it multiple times a day for a week straight definitely causes you to lose a lot, if not all, of the progress you've made so far. Which is why I think it could be helpful to have a system in place to prevent the binging. Let me explain to you how this would work. Let's say you've been staying clean for 9 days, and on day 10, you slip up. If we look at this from the typical streak point of view, you've already failed. But if we switch to a percentage way of keeping track, missing 1 day out of 10 only means that you've dropped from 100% to 90%. Yes, it still stings a bit, but it doesn't feel nearly as bad as going from 100% straight down to 0, which is what essentially happens when you focus on maintaining a perfect streak. And the great thing about the percentage-based mindset is that if you pull yourself back together and avoid fapping for the next 5 days, you'll rise back to a 93%. You actually have a chance to recover from the fall. You have an incentive to get up quickly and try again. With a percentage-based system, every time you slip up, you can see yourself losing more progress. But at the same time, you're being given a chance to recover. With a streak system, you become obsessed with all or nothing. With a percentage-based system, you understand that mistakes happen and when they do, you have a reason to get back up to defend the progress you've made so far. Now it's important to note that in order for a percentage-based system to work, you cannot reset your percentage whenever you want. You have to accept the days you've messed up or else you will just binge and reset it whenever, like what tends to happen when you try to go for a perfect streak. I recommend resetting just once a year on a memorable day like New Year's or your birthday. Now I know some of you might be thinking, this won't work for me, I'm extremely addicted, I cannot let myself slip up even once. And to that I would say, yes, this is not a cure-all, it's not going to work for everyone, but it is another way of approaching NoFap. I think that this strategy is something that's worth considering, especially if you are prone to binging after messing up just once. And if it doesn't work, no problem. You can always go back to the old strategy and aim for a perfect streak. Now, some of you might also be thinking, well, what about the benefits? Don't you lose them all if you don't maintain a perfect streak? Well, to be honest with you, I don't have a perfect streak. I do slip up here and there. It usually happens when I party a bit too hard. But overall, I do have a 95% plus success rate for this year. And I feel great. I'm still getting all of the benefits, the energy, the confidence, the productivity. It's all still there. Don't get me wrong. I'm trying my best to keep this number as high as possible every year. But I honestly don't feel bad at all if I do happen to slip up from time to time. I feel like a decent amount of negative effects that come from fapping actually stem from the negative self-talk and guilt that comes when we do happen to slip up. Yes, watching porn messes with your brain. You should avoid that as much as possible. But I think the negative self-talk that comes from slipping up can be just as bad. 
The second tip I have for you today addresses this, but before I do that, here's a quick word from the sponsors of today's video. This episode is brought to you by BlockerX. Embarking on the NoFap journey can give you a wide range of benefits, including higher levels of confidence and success in dating. BlockerX is one of the most effective adult content blockers for your phone. They have a complete system built in place designed to help you avoid porn. Most content blockers are easily uninstalled, whereas BlockerX cannot be uninstalled without the permission of your accountability buddy. If you don't have a buddy, that's fine, because BlockerX has a community of over 100,000 active members who are all embarking on the same journey as you. This makes it easy to find someone to work with and also to stay motivated at the same time. If you're someone who tends to slip up because of your phone, then I highly recommend you to check out BlockerX. You can use my promo code IPILL to get 20% off their premium plan. Now back to the topic at hand. The second tip I have for you is something that I've also been experimenting with. You might have noticed it throughout the video, and it's the fact that I don't use the word relapse. I prefer to use something like slipping or falling, and that's because I believe that words have power. A word like relapse makes me think of a heroin addict in some dark room passed out with a needle in his hand, which only made me feel worse about myself every time I would use it to describe having jerked off. These strong negative emotions that came from this image only made me want to fap even more every time I failed. When I use a more playful word like slipping up, I imagine some guy in a restaurant slipping on the wet floor because he didn't notice the wet floor sign. This entire scene to me is actually kind of funny, like, ah, uh, he should have been more aware, as compared to the scene of the heroin addict, which is just kind of sad. You can even take this further by using a truly ridiculous word, like another phrase that I've been using, I made an oopsie, which is just so silly that I can't help but chuckle when I realized I've messed up. It makes me feel like, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But in the grand scheme of things, it's just an oopsie. It's not the end of the world. So get back up and focus. I think it's important to not obsess about NoFap so much. The people who truly succeed are the ones that can move on with their life and not think about NoFap every single day. Sure, they might slip up from time to time, but it's no big deal for them. They stand back up, make a mental note that they should stop and continue on with the rest of their life. Now, both of these tips are things that I've only been experimenting with with great success. I hope some of you try them out. And if you do, please let me know your results in the comments down below. Hope you found this video helpful. And besides that, guys, stay tuned.